Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you for coming again. Uh, this is day three of our three day event. And I thank you so much for all the questions and all the feedback and everything that you have um, talked to me about based on what I've already discussed with you. I've gotten a lot of questions um, for clarification, some questions that people have come with, up with that I haven't uh, talked about or touched on. So the first thing I want to do is just dive right into the questions that the people have asked me, okay? So the first one is, I talked about I talked about ordering these kind of things. It's called collateral. Uh, I wasn't very clear on how these are ordered. Basically, so this is from Universal. All I do is I log into the Universal web Agent website and there's a section on there for collateral that I go in <clears throat> and I just select whatever they have available that I want. And, and then they send it to me. Shows up with the FedEx guy comes really quick and uh, again that's free no shipping charges no charges for any of it so that's how I acquire those um, <laughs> very easy very fun to get that those catalogs for free the second thing is I've been asked if people um, if we have agent as agents have to sell a certain amount of travel or work a minimum amount of hours and the answer is no we have no quotas um, that we have to meet so if you don't feel like working for a month uh, it's okay you aren't penalized you don't have to you know report back to anybody <clears throat> how much you earn how much you make is totally up to you and how many hours you work is totally up to you too and that's that's cool because like that cruise that I went on I didn't really feel like working on the cruise right so I didn't feel nervous or obligated to anyone while I wasn't working for those eight nine days that I was gone so that's that's fantastic and that was a good question so Thank you for asking that. Now, we are accredited travel agents without having to go to an official school or anything. As soon as you enroll under a host agency, you are an official official travel agent, okay? So don't feel like there's any certain certifications you have to get because it just, like I mentioned the other day, they don't exist. So you are a legit travel agent as soon as you enroll. Okay, so that's good, right? That's good. Now, how you enroll was another question I got, and it's very simple. I just get you the web link to my enrollment site, and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes, um, maybe even less, and then you're enrolled. That's it. It's cool, and then we get you started on the training. So that's how you enroll, just online. Um, another one was, what sets, what sets this apart for clients? Like, why do they want to book with me? And that's a very good question. And my answer to that is because we can tailor make a vacation exactly for them, right? And also, it's like if you go on Expedia, and I'm going to talk about Expedia a little bit later, but if you go on Expedia and you book something and something goes wrong on your vacation, well, guess who you get to call for help? Nobody. <laughs> There's nobody there to help you. I mean, I think a lot of us have gone the rounds with customer service people who don't really have the answers and that's kind of what you run into with booking through companies like that so we provide a service we provide uh, you know the um, the peace of mind and the comfort to know that every part of the travel is taken care of you know they're we're gonna cover every single step and that's what sets us apart from people just booking on their own um, <clears throat> I've also been asked if I make more money through recruiting or booking travel and that's kind of a loaded question because with recruiting, it's residual income. So I do the thing once, which is enroll a person, and I continue to make money <clears throat> off of that one task that I did. So you can make a lot of money recruiting. You can, and I'm going to talk about that later too. But also with the travel, and I did mention a, um, a vacation that I booked to Hawaii for a couple and that one booking earned me $947. So that was fast money, a big chunk of money, but it's a one-time money. So it just kind of depends on how you look at the funds coming in, you know, whether you want it all at once or, you know, spread out over time with the recruiting. And with the recruiting, it's always going to happen. It's that residual income. All right. Now, another thing we have is, are we able to offer our customers the best price? We are, and the reason for that is because our host company has what's called a best price guarantee. So if our customer uh, comes to us and we book, say, um, a vacation to Jamaica, 
Okay, we'll say it's just, we'll say it's $5,000 for this example. If they come to you uh, after you've booked that like next week or whatever, and they're like, hey, I found this exact same trip for, you know, $4,000. Well, until travel will do all that they can to match that price. And if for whatever reason they cannot do that, they will, the host company will give your customer a credit for the difference. So that $1,000 plus 10% to use with you for future bookings. So that makes it really nice for your customers to know that they're gonna be getting the best price with you through that guarantee. So that's good too. All right, another one I got asked is, do you have to book on the website that you're given when you enroll? You do not, you do not. You can book with any vendor you want. Um, and if you do that, all you have to do is come back to your website and you register that booking. It takes about 30 seconds, it's very, very simple. And that just makes it so um, the host company knows who to give that commission to once it arrives at their front door. Okay, I think that's all the questions. So again, thank you for um, sending those to me and send them all. Send me more. Don't ever apologize for sending me questions because I love them. All right. Oh, and there was one more. Um, they asked me about the commission that's built into the travel. Yes, there is a travel agent built into every travel booking Ever, anywhere so if you do go book on Expedia and I just use Expedia as an example because it's well known but it's any of those self booking websites if you go on there and you book yourself you have paid a travel agent commission but the commission went to no one it stayed with the company so basically you're supporting a giant company versus a person you know like I'm a real person I've got a family I've got a small business and I'm working from home and for every booking that I lose to uh, you know a, a self booking site you know that that's money out of you know our our income and so I mean even if they are doing that booking themselves again they're paying the travel agent fee so they may as well use a travel agent that's how I feel about it but I'm partial to travel agents. <laughs> it just makes sense to use a travel agent because you're not left high and dry ever. Okay, now I'm going get to on, get on with what I had planned for talking about today now that I've gone through all those questions. Let me tell you a couple stats about travel. And I'll tell you why I'm telling you these at the end. Now, there were 20.4 million people who visited the Magic Kingdom uh, alone for Disney last year. 20.4 million in one year just to one location there were 20 million people who cruised that's a lot and there in 2016 there were 67 million people in the US who traveled outside of the country now that is a lot of people and that is a huge huge client base for us and the reason I tell you this is to let you know that travel is not going away, right? It's it's only going to expand, it's only going to grow. People are gonna just keep traveling. Um, as our world gets connected with all these uh, technologies, it's so easy to travel. And so as travel agents, we're able to you know take hold of that and, and make it our business. So that's great, we know travel isn't uh, leaving. Uh, you know, it's like some companies, you know, they close their doors and they, they close and travel is never gonna do that. I mean, have you ever been to a airport when it was empty. I haven't. I haven't. I want to tell you a few travel trends that are kind of some some cool things going on right now. They have what are called um, solo travel. In fact, when I was on the cruise, they had a, so, a singles um, cruise group. So people who were single, they booked this group cruise and they all went and mingled and met each other. So that's kind of cool. Another neat one going on right now is luxury travel, you know, with butlers and all the fanciness that you can expect in a vacation. There's also wine, uh, wine destination tours, you know. I mean, of course, those places in Napa Valley and things like that have always been around, but now it's becoming very popular to go and travel there. So these are fun things that we can book for our customers. And glamping, right? <laughs> we can get paid to book people to go glamping. That's fancy camping, right? You're in a tent, but there's like a bed in there and it's nice. So we can get paid to do that type of thing too. So let's say that you have enrolled to be a travel agent. Yay, you're ready to go, awesome, awesome, that's cool. So how do I start? It's very simple and it's very outlined in your back office. So the first thing you do is you read your, your uh, training manual, easy. The next thing you do is you watch the videos in your back office, also easy, and those have a small quiz after them just to make sure you're getting the knowledge that you need. 
Now, this is where you've got to start advertising. You've got to let people know what you're doing. Don't sit back and be a, you know, a secret agent hiding in your house. Uh, it's different working from home because you don't have a storefront for people to see your new sign, your grand opening banner, things like that. So you do have to start talking to people. You have to get the word out. Tell people you're doing this. Let your neighbors know. Let your friends know. Things like that. So also, you can use the resources we have available to us in our back office, which are those mailers um, that I mentioned, the email marketing system, um, the business cards, the letterheads, those kind of things. So get your hands on those and start making use of them. Uh, we, you know, you need to really start building real relationships with people when you start a business, any kind of business, and let them know that, hey, this is what I'm doing. If you don't have a need uh, for my services, please let your friend know. Right, so start making these relationships and um, make them real. Don't just be trying to pitch somebody. Uh, the next thing is you need to set a realist, realistic but lofty goal for your time and your money that you expect to get and uh, put out for this business, right? So I want to work this amount of hours and I want to get this amount of money. And then at that point, you know, your leader, your sponsor, whoever can help you with a game plan to be able to accomplish those things. You'll want to join some networking business groups, whether it be on Facebook or some other outlet that has that type of thing. I know LinkedIn is very popular. And then book something. Just start and book something, whether it be a flight for someone, uh, whether it be just an overnight hotel stay, just book something. Get that one first booking under your belt and have that confidence. And you're like, yes, I'm an official travel agent. I just got a commission for that booking. Doesn't matter it was three dollars I, I still got it right so you just need to get that confidence flowing you need to get your mindset right and you need to know that this is legit this is real and this is your business another thing is you need to launch your business I wish you could see my hands the screen is too small but launch your business it's so important this could be considered a business launch what I've been doing with you it's longer than most of them are but you know you need to let people know what you're doing create an event create an excitement and launch that dang business get it out there <laughs> you know and what's so great is to get in with a company before it has reached its saturation point is so critical because think about if you had joined say Tupperware when it was in its infant stage kind of like we are right now think of all the residual income uh, you would be getting for all those people who have enrolled since Tupperware began. That's real money, people, and that's money that's coming to you um, for doing that one thing one time with the recruiting. Now, there are different ways to get exposure with your business, for your business. You can join the Chamber of Commerce. You can join sports teams and, you know, start talking and uh, book those sports teams if you're traveling sports team. Join a group, uh, you know, a common interest group. Join churches. Uh, put an ad on your car, you know, some stickers, some decals, that kind of thing. You just need to get your business exposed and get the word out so that you're not sitting at home in your PJs <laughs> wondering why nobody's calling you. Very important. Now, we are in 22 countries worldwide and we're expanding all the time. Uh, it's, it's very cool. We've got um, some other countries coming up soon on the list that we're trying to get to be able to uh, recruit people from to become travel agents. So that's pretty exciting. Now this host company that I'm with, it's called IntelliTravel and it is the original at home host agency for travel agents. The very first one. Started about 26 years ago and we've got an A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. So that's cool because we aren't some business that just kind of started you know, a couple months ago. We've been around 26 years so we've got a track record and we've got a lot of, um, you know, really good uh, preferred partners in our back pocket to work with. And so that's good. Uh, I want to go back to that Expedia thing I was talking about. Why we can and do compete with Expedia. The number one thing, in my opinion, is, well, of course, the customer service that I already touched on. That's very important. Like, I'm a total customer service snob, and I'll admit that one. But, you know, we can offer our client uh, payment plans. So all they have to do is, is uh, pay a deposit and then they can make payments. And that is really freeing for people because it's affordable then. I know I talked a little bit about it the other night, but it becomes affordable, it becomes real, it becomes manageable to book, or to, excuse me, pay in small increments rather than this huge chunk at one time. It's a lot less painful, right, to do, to do small payments than big chunks. Again, you know, uh, when you book with me, I'm a real person. You help me support my family, you help me support my dream, and that that's um, invaluable to me. 
uh, the customer service that I provide for my customer at every stage from the uh, initial contact I make with them, finding out where they want to go, what they want to do. I will talk with them up until the day they travel. I will, you know, message them while they're in their travel, uh, not enough to annoy them, but just to make sure everything's fine. I'll make sure that they're ready to get on their plane to come home. I'll make sure when they're home that they have, um, you know, arrived safely, that type of thing. So it's just really a, from start to finish and even beyond that's really important uh, with a travel agent. And, you know, I, ne I never will uh, let them feel like they're alone if there is an issue. I'm here to sort out any issue that that may arise, uh, you know, in travel, because that does happen. <clears throat> so I want to talk about some very exciting things that we are able to have access to uh, working under a host company. We've got this thing called Seminar at Sea. Now, you may have been to some of your business conferences, and you go and you sit in this horrendous, uh, you know, conference room, and you're like, ooh, like this the whole time, and PowerPoint, PowerPoint. No. No, this is a seminar at sea, so this is a cruise, people. We have our conferences on cruise ships. Let that sink in for a second, right? Cruise ship conference, seminar at sea. We have one coming up in March, and it's um, to the Caribbean. So cool. And we get, like, again, dirt cheap rates for, for going on this. It's so cool. It's so cool. So we'll go on these conferences. We'll learn about um, preferred partners who we love, and they love us because we work with each other, and we, you know, help each other, uh, you know, extend their businesses and things like that. So they become our friends, those preferred partners. And, you know, we'll learn about new things in the industry while on these seminar at seas. And then we just go play and have fun. It's like incredible. How cool is that? You can, you can go from, you know, your, your lesson that you're having about your preferred partners, and then you can go kick it in the pool on top of the cruise ship. So that's cool. I'm excited for that. Okay. Now, with our host company, we get a higher percentage commission than any other host companies in the industry. And that's really important because your time is valuable. Your money should be your money, you know. Let's not let them, you know, take more of a cut than than they deserve, right? So that that's really important. Now with that, I want to take a moment to tell you the third word for our three-word uh, ter uh Contest, voucher thingy. <laughs> so, you had the first word, you had the second word, the third one, sh the third word for tonight is freedom. Freedom! Okay, so remember those. And I'm going to be putting a post in the event that will tell you how to turn in those three words to me to get your voucher, okay? It's gonna be really easy to, to get your voucher if you have the three words. That's very important. Now, I want you to realize that there are two parts to this business, okay? And I've, you've heard me talk about the recruiting, you've heard me talk about the travel side, so it's like this, okay? So here, here I'm a travel agent, okay? Cool, I'm, I'm booking travel for people, I'm booking travel for people, awesome. And then all of a sudden, oh, wait a second, I gotta be a recruiter. <laughs> this is like my newsboy cap, right? I'm sending out the news. So, okay, now I'm a, now I'm a recruiter. Oh, wait a second, someone else called me, now I'm, a, I'm a, back to a travel agent. This happens all day long, people all day long and sometimes it's like this and then sometimes it's like this because I have to be a therapist I get to be a therapist to uh, some of my you know okay be real having a business is difficult and you've got to have friends you've got to have allies within your business this is where this comes in the therapist and I've got friends who wear this hat for me in the business and that's very very important very important okay so hats we wear them we have different things that we do and we trade back and forth and that's okay and that's the way it goes so for a moment I want to talk to you about this hat which is my recruiting hat when I started this business let me back up just a second in teletravel the host company is not an MLM company it is not an MLM so that means if you sign up to be a travel agent you do not have to recruit people okay I want that to be very clear because it is optional you do not have to recruit people if you don't want to. But I'm going to tell you the value in it right now. We are with Planet Marketing, which is an MLM, and that's where the recruiting comes in. So as a recruiter, I get paid five times a month. Hi, I get paid five times a month. I get paid, um, so if I, if I recruit somebody last week, I get paid for them this week. 
And with the traveling, I know I mentioned that you do the booking perhaps today, but they're not traveling until November, and so you won't get paid until November. So the pay is much quicker as a recruiter. So when I started this business, I chose to start recruiting because the residual income. I thought, okay, as soon as I get my team of nine built, which I'll explain in a second, then I will focus on the travel side because I'll have that residual income coming in to kind of buffer me for my learning process with the travel side of the business. So when I recruit somebody in the beginning, I get $50 for each person I recruit. So let's say I recruit someone named Sarah. It's Sarah tonight. So if I recruit Sarah, I earn $50. If Sarah goes and recruits someone else, she earns $50 and I earn $25. And there's no limit to how many times this can happen. Sarah can recruit 7,000 people and for each of them, I get $25. So you can see by doing that one recruitment, you can get paid over and over and over and over with that residual income. Now, once you become a gold builder, which means you have nine people recruited under you personally, nine active travel agents, your pay goes up to $60 for each recruit. And then every time Sarah recruits somebody, I then get $35 because I have nine or more beneath me. Another way I can make money by becoming a, uh, more money, excuse me, by becoming a gold builder is anytime Sarah goes and books a, tr a vacation, let's say her commission that she takes home is $1,000, I get 10% of whatever Sarah earns. So I get a hundred bucks for her booking that trip. I don't know where the trip got booked to. I don't know who went on it. I don't know what she went through to book that trip, but I get the hundred bucks for her doing that. So you can see where this could be really valuable if you've got a lot of people that you've personally recruited and you, you're collecting that 10%, 10%, 10% each time for the travel that they book and then the money for the people that they enroll. Now that's pretty cool. <laughs> And, and I've, I'll tell you what, that's probably my favorite check to get because my favorite payment to get because I didn't have to do anything. I was just like sitting back and collecting money off my team, which I love my team. They're so dear to me in more ways than money. I don't, I don't, I don't want to make that clear. So, you know, the, the earning potential is so fantastic with the recruiting. So like I said, I built up my team to nine people and then I started um, doing the, the travel booking. It took me about um, about two months to reach my nine people. Uh, I just looked at my stats uh, earlier today because uh, my friend Molly was asking about this. Um, I enrolled my ninth person on the sixth of the month, and on the ninth of the month, I booked my first cruise. So it happened quick. It was it all just worked out so smooth. And I had a goal, people. Goals are important, and making them real is important. So I reached my goal of nine and then I took off with the travel booking. And you can do that too, or you can be a travel agent specifically, or you can be only a recruiter. That is completely up to you. And that's the beauty of this business because there's options, right? Here we go, options, okay? Recruiter, travel agent, totally up to you. A lot of possibilities. So I wanna talk about <clears throat> the cost to enroll. Now, when you enroll as a travel agent, again, you're a legit travel agent from the get-go, okay? And to be strictly a travel agent is a one-time fee of $179.95. So for less than 200 bucks, you have your very own turnkey business. Cool, huh? That's way cool. I start, I had another business too, and I, I, uh, I started this screen printing business back in 06. And I guarantee you, it did not cost only $200, under $200. It was like uh, multi-thousands of dollars. So when, you know, when people are concerned about spending under $200 to start your very own business where, you know, you could totally make back all your investment in one booking, um, I don't see, I don't see how they can't see the value in a business where you can make such quick return. So for that $179, let me tell you what it is that you'll get. You'll get, um, basically your tuition, you know, you're, you're going to be able to register with the vendors, which you cannot do if you're not a legit agent. You'll get all the payment processing uh, through your back office. You'll get your commission tracking for you. We have a whole team who takes care of finding where our commissions um, are. If they're, if they're slow in coming to us, they track those down for us. We also get that booking engine that, you, that you've heard me mention. 
we get all the training we need. Um, you know, that that's all free. There's no extra training that you have to get that you have to pay for. And you get all the support. You know, if you have any issues with anything at all, you just call or email or get on the chat with IntelliTravel. And they've got our back and they're there to support us. They also provide what's called errors and omissions insurance, which is if I were to accidentally make a mistake with someone's booking and I sent them to the wrong city, book their, you know, their flight to the wrong city on accident, the company will, you know, back me up and, and fix that through their insurance so my customer can't come after me financially. So that's that's good. And also, uh, you know, when you're with a host company, um, that 179 gets you all the credentials you need to be a legit travel agent and to be, you know, considered um, validated and accredited and all of that. <clears throat> so it's a very, very small investment uh, for a lot. And so after, after you enroll in 30 days, you are charged... Um, there's a, a monthly maintenance fee of $39.95 to be a travel agent. And again, you get all those benefits I mentioned, um, along with all the, you know, all the marketing materials in your back office. You know, if, when you're a travel agent, use those because they're there and they're basically just waiting for us to use them. We get the, you know, the IT support. We get the customer service. We get the access to the vendors. Um, we get the seminars at sea. You're not going to get invited to a seminar at sea unless you're a travel agent. And then we've got the tri the uh, fam trips. I know I talked about the fam trips, but those are all in our back office. There's a whole bunch of them, like scroll, 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 fam trips in the back office, and they're all over the world. And then we have other fam trip companies that we can enroll with to get those benefits too. Now, <clears throat> I understand that this business, whether it be the recruiting or the travel agent side, is not for everyone. I know we, to we totally understand. I totally understand that. And so I feel like my duty to you is to present this information to you and give you the knowledge that you need to, you know, make an educated decision for if it's going to fit in your life, for it's going to, if it's going to be beneficial to you and your family, um, for you and your, you know, your freedom, your financial freedom, um, so important financial freedom, time freedom, so, so important too, and personal freedom, you know? None of us want to wake up in the morning and realize we have to go to our nine to five job that sucks out our soul. <laughs> you know, I've got friends like that. They're like, oh, I got to get up and go to work. I hate this job. My boss is a jerk. I'm so miserable. I can't wait to, for these five days to get over so I can have my weekend. And that, people, is no way to live. We are not meant to wake up and be miserable, pay bills and die. <laughs> We've all heard that, you know, we're not meant to pay bills and die. And I totally believe that. And that's why I'm so grateful that I found this opportunity because I don't have to live that way anymore. I did live that way before, but I don't have to anymore. Now I can travel and earn money while I'm traveling. I can earn money and I can help people become travel agents so they can earn money while they're traveling too and get access to these phenomenal rates that can help them get out of that dull job, you know, that those doldrums that we tend to get in with regular nine to five jobs. So, um, as far as oh, I didn't mention this, but if you want to be a recruiter along with a travel agent, it's just an additional twenty dollars to enroll and twenty dollars a month. I'm sorry I left that out. I got too excited talking about <laughs> talking about the other things. So one ninety nine to enroll as a travel agent and a recruiter, and then fifty nine a month for the the uh, monthly fee. And you know what? I can't believe I didn't even mention this to you. I'm just looking at my notes right now. But if you enroll, when you enroll, if you are with the business, um, you get a 30-day, basically a trial period. So if you enroll and within 30 days you're like, this isn't what I wanted. Um, it's not what I expected. I, I don't want to do it for any reason. You don't even need a reason. You just contact the host company and you let them know that you want to cancel your enrollment. And you get 100% of your enrollment fee returned to you. So there's no risk financially to give this a try. And when I enrolled, I thought, I don't know if I can do this. Like, do I really have it in me to take care of my baby and do a business? So I thought, well, the worst that could happen is I enroll and I basically get, you know, 30 days worth of free training to be a travel agent. And then on day 29, 30, I'll just quit. Yeah, you know, big deal. I'll get my money back. All, all that's lost is... A little bit of time but I'll know how to book better well when that 30 days rolled around I could see the value in this business I could see the potential I could see how I could help people and that was so so special to me and so when that 30 days rolled around I'm like I don't care that there's that 
<laughs> there's that 30 day guarantee because I'm not taking advantage of it. And another guarantee that we have is it's a profit guarantee. So <laughs> listen to this, listen to this. So if you enroll as a travel agent and you work your business for a year, now you can't just sit on your butt and do nothing, okay? You gotta actually try. If you do this for a year, and if at the end of that year, you have not made more money or saved more money on your own travel than you have paid in your monthly fees, the host company sends you a check for the difference. <laughs> have you ever heard of that? I haven't. So basically, you're guaranteed to at least break even in your first year in business. That is phenomenal. Because most businesses take, what, at least three to five years to become profitable, right? So. This company is guaranteeing you that you are not going to lose money in the first year. So keep that in mind as well. So, you know, I really want to thank you for joining in because it's so special and important to me to, to get this information out there. So people, like I said, can make a decision on if this is going to be beneficial for them in their lives. Uh, you know, please don't be afraid to start because you've got people like me. You've got so many other leaders in the company that want you to succeed. Not only because they just want you to be successful, but because our success is in a way connected to yours, right? So we're gonna do all we can to help you succeed. And to me, I mean, the financial side, I'll admit I like that, but I just really like seeing people be successful. So I'm there for my team, you know, at any time. And, and I hope that you realize that I would do the same for you if you enrolled, you know, on my team. So just don't be afraid. You may be overwhelmed when you begin, but that's with any job, that's with any business. You know, just, just get in there and start doing something. Just start learning something. Don't be overwhelmed for all the possibilities of things you could train on. Just focus on one at a time and you'll be fine. I promise you, <laughs> I promise you. And we've got a great support system, whether it be on Facebook or in person or <clears throat> you know, over the phone or anything like that. There's always gonna be somebody who can help you. So, you know, you don't you don't need an MBA. I posted this on my, on my page. Uh, you don't need an MBA to start a business. You just need grit. You just need some grit. You need some, some bravery. You need some, some love, which I'm sending to you. So you got that covered and you need some grit. So again, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here tonight and, and the other two nights. And I will be posting on the, in the event <clears throat> exactly how you can get your own three day, two night hotel voucher compliments of me for joining into this uh, event. If for whatever reason the event disappears, because sometimes they do, if they've got a time uh, where they're meant to end, please just message me or um, you can, um, you know, I'll, I'll put it in my, my business page. So be sure to like my business page because I want all of you to be able to take advantage of that voucher that I want to give out to you. And I'll show it to you. <clears throat> this is the voucher and you've got 10 different locations you can choose from to go for this uh, for this voucher. Okay, I, I know you can't read it, it's backwards, but I'll be sending this to you in the mail as soon as I get those three words from you. So just let me know, okay? I'll go do that right now so you can start emailing me and let me know where to send your voucher to. But again, thank you so much. This has been so much fun for me to share my knowledge and to get to know some of you better. So be in touch. Let's make this freedom be ours, okay? Good night, you guys. Talk to you later. Thanks again.